Hello, this is Pastor Jones. I want to spend about five minutes with you today. In the book of Genesis, the fourth chapter, the ninth verse, it reads thusly. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? The first human being, listen to me, that was ever born on this planet grew up to be a murderer, a reviler of God, an apostate, and an active leader in the development of a secular, materialistic, carnal, and seemingly successful worldly culture. But we see something in this verse and in this man's life. First of all, it tells us sin deceives. Eve mistook Cain for Christ. I have gotten a man, she said, the Lord. Well, how many have been deceived today, making of themselves a God, making others a God, but do not embrace the Lord God Almighty? As deceptive as sin was then, it is deceptive today in this moment in time of which we are living. Secondly, sin divides. Man's first recorded sin separated man from God. When Adam and Eve partook of that fruit, of which God told them not to look upon, they fell into sin and were ousted from the garden. His second recorded sin, man was separated from man. As Cain, the firstborn of Adam and Eve, slew his brother Abel. Well, it only makes sense when man turns away from God. He also turns against his fellow man. Thirdly, sin destroys. The first person to die on this earth, think about this, was murdered by his own brother. We move fast forward to the 21st century. In the headlines that we read today, with all the advancement, man has not changed in the least bit, still murdering one another, senseless murders being carried out today by lost men and women outside of Christ. Sin is still a destroyer. As it was then, so it is now. Sin, fourthly, deadens. Where is Abel, God said? And Cain sneered back, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? There wasn't any remorse. There was no regret. There wasn't a pinch of conscience. There wasn't a tear shed. He killed his own brother and seemingly felt no problem about it. Sin deadens an individual to the very things that are right and decent and godly. It still does today. Number five, sin dooms. What hast thou done, God said to Cain? What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Well, that's a loaded question if God was to ask you that today. What have you done? How many sins have we committed? Listen, a life without the touch of God upon it, there is no depth to how low it can sink and how far it can go into sin. Could God ask you that question? He certainly does today, really. What hast thou done? And if you have committed sin and wandered far from God, is it not time for you to get back to God, to be saved, to be forgiven? Let me give you one more. Sin damns. Cain went out from the presence of God. That's what sin does. It separates us from God. It puts us in a place where, where there's no help and no hope. There is not the slightest evidence that this man ever repented and came back to God. On the contrary, apostasy is bluntly labeled by the Holy Spirit as going in the way of Cain, Jude the 11th verse. I beg you today, don't go in the way of Cain. And I pray this today that you will recognize you are your brother's keeper, and with God's touch upon your life, instead of doing evil to those about you, you will only do them good. May God grant that to every one of us.
I hope I've given you something to think about today. This is Pastor Joseph saying God bless until we meet up next time.